Okay, everybody, we are moving on to the unboxing of the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And uh, this one has a special surprise. There is a huge alpha stamp in here that I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit as well. So I'll, let's dig in and I will show you what is in here. There is a ton of goodies in here. So, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna set this aside. I have one open because you don't want to watch me struggle trying to get the wrapper off of that. But the uh, washi tape in this month's kit is this fun passport stamp. Isn't that cute? With all of the colors, I make a great border along the bottom of one of the pages. So I'm gonna start with the stamp set because I want to talk a little bit about this. I did a um, a a stamping video that shows um, how to use this along with the stamp set from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. But the one thing I did want to mention is this outline font that is included in here. We don't normally do, this is special, we don't normally do four by six stamp sets in the kits because they're quite expensive, but we did this month. And it coordinates with the solid stamp set that we have and we have a bunch of these in the store. I think we sold this back in uh, January. And I ordered enough to just kind of keep in stock because it's such a staple. Uh, I use it all the time in my Daisy Planner. But we designed this outline to work with it. And uh, so you can stamp just the outline, you can stamp the solid, or you can stamp the outline over top of the solid. So you need three um, fonts, basically, or three alphas. So that, you get that whole stamp set. And then you got these die cuts. And I'm gonna open, try and get these open. And our die cuts are stickers. They have an adhesive back, so you just peel the backing off. Let's see if I can get these out without dropping them all. There's a fun little arrow. And let's see if I can pick these up. Show them to you. So there's a little tab. There's a geotag. And, I, and there's some numbers in there. So we'll kind of, there's staycation, reading list. It would be fun to put a reading list in your um, simple dory. A couple of little words. Spending time with you. There's just a cute little flag. Chevron arrows. Is it dated? Backyard bliss, that one's cute. These actually, you could take these and make like a little banner. If you cut out, if you had these and then a couple more little pieces that you, so if you traced these on some patterned paper, you could make a cute banner that, um, or bunting that runs across a page. That would be cute. Officially done with today. Yes. <laughs> Go see do. On to new adventures. There's another tab there. Give me more June memories. That's cute. There's a cute couple of little circles. You can never go wrong with some circles. I don't know what is binging. I apologize. Something's binging. So I have a one, a two, and a three in these in this really cute font. And these would be fun to do um, a little list. Or if you had three photographs, you could do one, two, and three, and then um, put the journaling next to the one, two, three, and then the, the three photographs. That would be fun. So that's those. And again, those are actually stickers. Those are the die cuts. And then our beautiful glitter dots. Love these. How gorgeous are those? Aren't they pretty? Never get enough of those. So I'm gonna save the booklet for last. So we're gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna show you the rub-on. Now this set of rub-ons is different from the set of rub-ons that is in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit and the Main Planner. So they're all different. And as I mentioned before, use this uh, backer. This is beautiful pattern. You can reuse that. It's a beautiful pattern paper. You can reuse that. The first thing you do when you get your rub-ons out, and if you've watched the other two videos, it's the third time I'm telling you this, but staple the backer to the front because you do not want to be touching 
the back because that's got a type of adhesive on the back. And if you do that, they're delicate and then they'll come off. When you're gonna use these, cut out the ones that you're gonna use. Do not try to rub it on from the full sheet. So cut out the one that you're gonna use, place it, take the backer off and then rub it down. The other thing that I mentioned that I wanna mention again, so it comes with a popsicle stick that you can use to rub them down. But if for some reason you have, um, you have a hard time gripping, you have arthritis in your hands or in your fingers, it's hard to hold that small little popsicle stick. So one of the things that you can do if you have a glue pen or um, if you have a glue stick, you can use anything that has a blunt kind of rounded end you can use to rub on. You can rub those down with. So I have a, a pickup tool here. You can use that. Um, so anything, even if you have a pencil that does it, that isn't pointy, it needs to be smooth because if it's pointy, it'll tear. It needs to be smooth and kind of rounded. You can use that if it, you can grip it a little better to rub that down. So I have those beautiful rub-ons. And then the fun chipboard. These are different from the modern memory keeping kit. They have some of the same shapes, they're, but they are they're different artwork, different patterns, different colors, different sayings. And we did these fun little wonky kind of circles. I think that I just love those. So we did those. And then the script alpha. And this alpha is kind of a, a soft brown. Almost makes me think of like a latte brown. Isn't that pretty? And then again, that wonderful pattern on the back of the backer cards. Now we have something, and we've been doing this for a little while, and I absolutely love these. We call them TNMK cards. They're Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping TNMK um, cards. And they're meant to use, just like you would say pocket cards if you were doing pocket memory keeping. So they're, they're the same size as a page in your notebook. So you can adhere them in there. If you cut your book apart and you um, you bind it in a binder, then you can add, you, these can be used as added pages or you can glue them right onto the pages. We have four of them. There's this one that says summer reading list. Beautiful pattern. Just so you know, favorite things. And then the travelogue with the itinerary, which is the one that I actually used in a layout and I'll show you that in a minute have that beautiful same um, map design, but in a vellum. So again, you can add that as a page, you could sew it, you could staple it onto a page, you could turn it into, I think it would be fun to turn it um, into a pocket by folding it in half, stitching up the sides and using it as a pocket. And then you get six sheets of our pattern paper, which is double-sided and that's why you get six, so you don't have to decide. There's the triangle stripe, this pretty floral, kind of a petite little dot floral. I love this blue one. And then another map. So you get all of those. And then before we do that, I'm gonna page you through. We call this our simple dory. And it's different than our, it's the standard size. So it's the same size as our standard dory booklet. The difference is, it does not have all of the sections. It's meant more for memory keeping or journaling or art journaling. And one of the things that you can do if you don't like the craft cover, you can take the craft cover off. I don't know if you know this, but the design is continuous from the front to back. So it has the same type of design on the front as the back. So you can just take the, the craft off if you want a patterned cover and use the first page and the back page as your booklet. I always like to put the month here. And then there's some pages that have a pattern on one side. We have some spreads that are, um, that are just um, completely blank. There's a few that are lined pages. Some that are a dot grid. Let's see that one, that's the one that I did a layout on. I'll show you that one in a minute. There's another um, dot grid all the way across. Let's start exploring. See, and then that page, you can do whatever you want. Good page to use one of those cards on. 
And then that pretty kind of brown plaid. That's another fun one. There's a grid and then there's the back page. And then each month I create a couple of layouts and I actually type up an instruction sheet. So the instruction sheet, there's always three pages. I do two layouts and then I also include a sketch. So you have a, a sketch to use just to kind of get you going with the product. And I encourage you, even if you don't think you're gonna copy these layouts, if for whatever reason you, you have your own vision, you, wanted, um, you have your own idea of how you're gonna use that, I encourage you to read through it simply because there's a lot of tips and ideas on how to use some of the product. There's some uh, design ideas in here as well. So please read through it. There's a lot of information in here that you could use um, and just kind of make it your own. You don't have to necessarily follow and do exactly what I've done, but there's bits and pieces in here um, that will definitely help you how to use some of the product. And there's just, there's a lot of fun things that you can do. And I want to show you one of, so what I did is I got, so sometimes I will use a, um, use jump rings, but I wanted to use that vellum as a page. So I took mine apart and I had this clear um, binder. So it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have things sticking out on the bottom. I have room, it'll keep it all protected. And um, I'm not sure how, I, I can use some rub-ons on this clear because rub-ons stick to just about everything. So I think I'm gonna decorate this clear cover with some of those fun rub-ons. So I'm gonna, and then I just bound it like I would just kind of like a planner or a ring bound book. And so I cut mine apart. And then this allowed me to insert this page as an actual page. Now, as I mentioned, you could have sewn it on top if you didn't want to take your booklet apart. I just took the staples out and just cut it, all the pages down the middle. And then I was able to uh, just insert that page. And then I also did the same with, here's one of those um, cards. So this is gonna be a fun way for me to, um, to use the Simple Dory to bind it like that. That is the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And it comes with all of these goodies. And I do, I encourage you to watch that stamping video. You get some fun ideas on how to use um, these stamps as well as uh, the other stamp set that's in the Modern Memory Keeping Kit. So that is the June Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit.